I only do one load of laundry a week. Now my husband takes care of the bed clothes, I do the towels and the regular clothes, but because I'm only doing one load a week, invariably some of it will back up. There will be some things that I just didn't get around to folding and putting away and then obviously there will be some clothes that I didn't get around to washing. I will also have some smaller piles of things that need to be ironed and I also have a pile of clothes that need to be mended in some way, you know, hemmed or a button stitched back on or whatever. And that is what my monthly reset day is for, or at least part of it, it is for catching up on all of those laundry tasks. So generally I can knock this out in like two loads of laundry, sometimes it takes takes three but generally two. And the beauty of it is that for my weekly washes I generally will, I prioritize the towels for a start but then after that I prioritize my own clothes. So generally at the end of the month most of what is left is my daughter's clothes and my husband's clothes and neither of those I fold and put away. That is their responsibility. So on my monthly reset days, all I have to do is literally wash and dry the clothes. I don't have to go through the horror <laughs> of actually folding them and putting them away. They are both big and bold enough now to do that task independently. <laughs> so the first load has gone on and I can now go about my day and get the rest of the things on my list done. Set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes counting down. Let's go. How's it going? It's Laura. I had an epiphany, a bit of an epiphany recently in regards to my monthly resets because I realized I was starting to like dread them. They were starting to become a chore. I was struggling through them. And sometimes I will sit down and kind of review my resets because I realized that there, you know, something needs to be changed or tweaked. Um, so that's what I did. I sat down and I tried to figure out why it was such a struggle for me because my weekly resets, I go through them, no bother. And I finally figured it out. It's because what I was doing was putting on the wash load and then basically going and doing a lot of computer work. I was sitting down in front of my laptop, um, updating spreadsheets and stuff. But once I was sitting down and kind of like chugging through all of that, I started to feel like lethargic. <laughs> And then I didn't want to get back up and do stuff. And there were things that were further down my list, like this thing that I'm about to tackle now, which is dusting all of my plants. I hate doing that, but for the greater good, I want to be a good plant parent. But yeah, I've now bumped those up to the top of the list so I can knock those out first thing. And then as my kind of momentum starts to slow, that's when I can sit down and do all of the computer work. So bump it right up close to the top of the list so that I can knock it out and then just move on with my day. See now I feel so much better about doing it that way, that was grand, not a bother on that. Look at the dirt that comes off, I'm always amazed. But yeah, because it's early in the day, because I'm still reasonably full of energy and motivation, uh, that was handy. I zipped around and did them all. Normally because I have that so low down on my list, by the time I get to it, I just do not want to do it at all. And I put it off. Another thing that has helped is I used to be like really particular about it and just generally a perfectionist and try and get every single tiny leaf whereas now I just kind of give them a general brush off and call it good. Sometimes perfectionism works in my favour, sometimes it does not and then I learn to adapt and adjust. But yeah, that was handy. Very glad that I made that little upgrade there to my monthly reset list. Next on the agenda is something else that I would normally put off and I don't know why because it's a pretty simple quick job but it's just vacuuming around my office. Again used to be low down the list have bumped it up. If you're interested in starting your own monthly reset or any sort of reset day and you kind of don't know where to start I do have a free downloadable pdf it's got like checklists. Very handy if you want to get started so I give you kind of an example of what my list looks like or or actually used to look like because as I said I have since tweaked it a little bit but it's a really good kind of jumping off point for you and then you have a blank checklist as well so that you can start to fill out your own. I will say if you think that it's kind of overwhelming or anything like that just start with something that you want to do on a regular basis. Something that you want to keep on top of. So that could be just doing the laundry, doing like one load of laundry a week. It could be vacuuming. It could be going through your mail, sorting all of that out, filing your papers, etc. Start off with just a small handful of things that you would like to do on a regular basis and have those be the foundation of your reset list. Like I said, I have been tweaking and adapting and changing mine 
over time it has definitely evolved it's come a long way from when I first started my weekly resets now like I can churn those out I am a pro at those but I'm sure in time I will continue to make some tweaks and changes but yeah the monthly reset was kind of bogging me down but now that I've made these adjustments I think this is going to work much better for me something else I do then to kind of break up my list to make it a little bit easier is to throw in some smaller quick tasks so rather than having a whole bunch of long boring tasks I mix it up uh, particularly with like computer work I don't want to be sitting at my laptop for hours on end filling in spreadsheets so I try and do like a little bit so I can batch them then get up and moving so I don't start to get like really sluggish and lethargic but one of my quick ones is to just empty out my purse take out all of the receipts and any expired coupons and that just helps to kind of break up the day a little bit I try and keep all my coupons in order of date so I can see that these are all still in date which is fine I can pop those back but I can get rid of these receipts nice quick handy job it just gets me a really quick win keeps my motivation high one of the big problems with stuff on a monthly reset list or any reset list is that it's usually things that need to be done on a regular basis like they're never ending like laundry like dealing with papers and so on which is why I really try to incorporate this next thing on my list that's why I really love it it is to declutter five items the reason this is great is because once those things are out of my house they're out that's it they're gone it's not like laundry where I have to come back and like re-declutter them over and over again so I like to slip that one in there and I also then combined it because each month I also like to tackle one project something that I have been meaning to do for quite a while so while I was decluttering I was also clearing out this cupboard this becomes a total disaster it becomes a dumping ground so I was simultaneously tidying and organizing and decluttering so yeah two birds one stone right there this is everything that I cleared out it will either be dumped or recycled or it will be donated still amazes me to this day how much stuff I'm still able to declutter even after all of these years after that the clothes were done so I switched those to the dryer I don't normally do two loads I normally finish off one load from start to finish so I don't put on a second load until I have the previous one completely done and dusted like folded put away and everything but because these clothes belong to my daughter and the second load belongs to my husband once they're in the dryer my kind of job is done I don't need to fold and put them away so I make an exception to the rule on monthly reset days I have a second load running while the first one is still in the dryer I also quickly separated out the clothes depending on who owned them so one pile for my clothes one pile for my daughters and one pile for my husband's and then it's just very easy for me to pick up an entire pile and bring it to whatever room it belongs to next is probably like my favorite little task <laughs> from this list I'm not really sure why I think it's just because it's quick and easy um, it's satisfying I guess but that is to top up all of the stuff around the house that needs to be topped up so wipes hand soaps um, dish soap things like that so I hit up all the bathrooms and the kitchen and while I'm doing that then I'm making a mental note of what I might need to reorder so this is great because it ensures basically that we never run out of anything everything is replenished and kept in stock at all times like I said a small kind of simple task but ultimately very satisfying after that then I stopped for lunch made myself some food and then I put the uh, last load of clothes in the dryer my daughter's stuff came out I brought those to her room she will fold and put those away later realistically I will probably help her out just because there's a lot of clothes there um, but yeah my husband's stuff he can deal with himself so once these are done in the dryer I will be leaving those on the bed for him to fold and put away later in the day now we come to the sitting down part and it's just as well because I'm starting to run out of steam uh, next on the list then is kind of a lump of computer work it's stuff that I have to do on my laptop and I'm not going to like bore you with all of it but let me just give you a quick rundown of the types of things that I do so first up on my list then is to check both prime reading and Amazon's first reads so because we're prime members um, every month you can get uh, basically a free book um, they will give you a free book but they also have it's kind of like a lending library you can borrow up to 10 books at a time so I just kind of pop in here 
scroll through, see if there's anything that takes my fancy. Honestly, I'm half thinking about not doing these, at least for several months, because I already have way too many books. I checked my library's kind of wish list app the other day, and there are over 800 books on it that I have marked as wanting to read. So I'll probably skip these this month. After that then, um, I just update my blog. I go through any comments and stuff, delete spam comments, ugh, bane of my life. Then is my spreadsheet stuff, the nerdy stuff. Um, but I update basically just tax spreadsheets, um, all my income and expenditure for the month um, gets all updated in there. I do generally track it throughout the month as I'm going, just type it in. Um, but yeah, this is just at the end of the month, I go back, add in anything that I forgot. Generally just make sure that they're up to date and everything has been included. And then if there are emails that I got, like email receipts, I move those to a separate tax folder that I have. After that then is a bunch of articles, basically. I just, any articles that I've saved to read, that's when I sit down and read back through all of those. Um, I have a feed reader as well, so I will read any articles there that are of interest. Um, I will update like calendars and digital coupons. I don't know why over here, but they do digital coupons. They don't automatically add them to your account. You have to go in and manually, certainly the store that I shop at, you have to manually add them. Um, I don't always do that because we don't shop too much at that store anymore. We've switched. Um, and it can take a while to like scroll through and like, you can't just add all of the coupons, you have to do them all. It's a nightmare, it's a pain. <laughs> and then anyway, to wrap up all of this computer work, I basically close everything down on all my devices, phone, laptop, etc. I clear out all the cookies, all of the cash, and I will reboot everything so that not only does my home get kind of like a spruce up and a fresh start, but my devices do as well. Now that I've managed to recharge my batteries a bit from all that sitting down, it is time to tackle the last of the laundry. And truly because this is me just wrapping up the laundry and I know I will be done with it, I get that little extra burst of motivation. You know, I'm at the finish line. It's just a matter of crossing it. So take everything out of the dryer. And then this is kind of a step that I don't normally do. Well, it depends on kind of the time of year, essentially. But sometimes if it's my husband's clothes, I will just lay them out flat so that they don't end up getting wrinkled. This time of year is one of those years when I do it because it is football season. He is working longer hours. There are games on Sunday nights, Monday nights and Thursday nights. So the chances of these clothes actually sitting here for a few nights rather than being put away the same day uh, chances are high that these will sit here. So uh, yeah, so they don't end up with a big ball of wrinkles. I will just flatten them out. If I feel that he's going to be able to put them away straight away, I just leave them in the laundry basket and he can deal with it himself. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happens. I flatten them out and then I bring them into our room. I put them on the bed. Honestly, they will probably move from the bed to the chair in the corner one or two nights before eventually he will get around to putting them away. But that's them done and dusted that part at least and then it's back to iron some clothes i don't normally have a huge ironing pile i'm not all that particular honestly about ironing clothes the dryer generally knocks most of the wrinkles out but there are still a handful of clothes that i would like to de-wrinkle i also honestly only generally iron on one side <laughs> because again i'm not overly fussed um i work from home I hardly ever leave the house. Nobody sees me. <laughs> so yeah, none of my clothes need to be like perfectly flattened or ironed or straightened or anything like that. If there's a few wrinkles, so be it. But yeah, that's the process. I don't actually mind ironing. It's one of those chores that doesn't really bother me in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, like with any chore, the less I can do, <laughs> the better. So once those are all ironed, I will then bring them back to the room. And yeah, this is it. This is the finishing touch. It is just hanging them all up and congratulating myself on a job well done. And then I have an empty laundry basket that I can admire and appreciate for all of about an hour <laughs> before it starts to fill back up again. The final kind of cluster of things then on my list is to uh, do a monthly review and also to plan for the coming month. So I like to sit down and kind of reflect on the month that has passed. I will go through 
uh, my journal entries from that month I will write down what went well that month any lessons that I learned any kind of like room for improvement um, anything that will help me going forward and then what my goals are what my plans are for the coming month and it's really interesting because as I was reading back through of my journal entries for this month um, so at the end of each day um, this is my own digital planner so there's a space for you to like write down all of your notes and stuff from the day there's a little section at the bottom for your highlights anything that just kind of stood out to you and then there's also a section just for a little reflection like to look back over on the day but one of the reflections that I had which was really interesting because it relates to uh, my reset days is and I will quote this to you it is in relation to weekly resets I wrote this on a Sunday but it, re it applies to all of my reset days I wrote proud of myself for keeping my weekly resets going they really help keep me on track I'm able to stay on top of things instead of letting them slide one of the best things I ever did truly I genuinely feel that my reset days have helped me so much because previously stuff was just falling through the cracks I never felt like I was staying on top of things I was kind of doing things when they got out of hand rather than having this regular routine of getting them done and not only does it help me to stay on top of those things but it helps me to stop thinking about them all the time. It helps me to stop kind of like keeping track of them, mentally keeping track of them all the time, instead of constantly thinking, oh, I need to tackle that, I need to tackle that, I need to get that done. I know that the day is coming up when they will get done. So it helps me stay on top of things, but it gets rid of all of that mental load, that mental burden of trying to keep on top of everything. So it's always really interesting to look back at my months, see uh, you know, what I achieved, um, what I maybe struggled with, and then to plan out and map out the coming month. And I just kind of give myself a broad overview for this. I don't go crazy. You know, I'm not like super detailed with it or anything. It really helps me to uh, like review and wrap up and really feel that I am done, like officially done with one month that I can officially kind of square that away and then start fresh into a new month, um, excited for what's to come, like knowing what's to come, sometimes even just being aware of it, like knowing what you have on your plate can be a, a relief, can help you feel much more organized and on top of things. It really helps me to know that I'm taking care of everything, not only in terms of actually doing them, but noting down all of my little wins and successes and taking the time to celebrate them. This kind of rejigging thing that I did is definitely working out for me. Having all of the kind of like ugh, <laughs> yucky tasks at the top of my list knocking those out first when I have the most energy is definitely working out well for me and then as I'm starting to run out of steam as I'm starting to run out of energy then sitting down and just doing the kind of mindless filling in spreadsheets checking things off reading saved articles etc it's just one minor little change but basically just switching those two things around has really made a big difference to today and will continue to make a difference every month now when I go and do my monthly reset. I feel like I have injected some fresh energy into them. Remember to go ahead and grab your free checklist if it's something that you're interested in and if you want to see how I do my weekly resets, you can see one right here. I have a whole playlist where I have all of these reset videos. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you do resets and how you find them. And until next time, go around me the Mahagwev. Focus, Becky, Mayship, Shiklua. Slaan! So